Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. Where I will explain reactions of amino acids. This is part 2 video. As explained in my previous videos. Amino acids are the group of organic biomolecules that possess two oppositely charged functional groups covalently bounded to same carbon atom. These two functional groups are 1. Amino group, which is positively charged. 2. Carboxylic group, which is negatively charged. Both these functional groups are attached to same carbon atom which is known as alpha carbon. The amino group and the carboxylic group in the amino acids participate in several chemical reactions, which will be discussed in this video. Reactions of amino acid can be due to involvement of both amino group and carboxylic group, or reactions can be purely due to involvement of carboxylic group, or reactions can be purely due to involvement of amino group. In my previous video, I explained, reactions of amino acid due to involvement of both amino group and carboxylic group, and another set of reactions that can occur purely due to involvement of carboxylic group. In this video I will portray reactions of amino acids that occur purely due to involvement of amino group. These reactions are acylation, benzoylation, methylation, reaction with Sanger's reagent, reaction with HNO2, oxidative deamination, reaction with formaldehyde, reaction with aromatic aldehyde, reaction with ninhydrin, reaction with carbon dioxide and biuret reaction. Now, I will begin with first reaction of amino acid due to the involvement of amino group, that is, acylation. The amino acid is acylated when dissolved in cold alkali, followed by addition of acetic anhydride, sodium salt of acetylated amino acid is obtained. Upon acidifying the solution with HCl, the free acetylated amino acid is obtained. Carefully see the complete set of reactions occurring to understand the mechanics of acylation reaction of amino acid. Second reaction that I will explain is, benzoylation. Benzoylation of glycine is readily accomplished in the animal body as a process of detoxication of benzoic acid. Glycine reacts with benzoic acid, on condensation benzoyl glycine is obtained which is also known as hippuric acid. In the reaction shown, glycine and benzoic acid condenses to give benzoyl glycine which is also known as hippuric acid. In this way benzoic acid, which is toxic molecule if gains entry in the body, gets neutralized. The third reaction that I will describe here is methylation. The set of reactions showing methylation of amino acid is shown. Here amino acid is treated with methyl iodide in presence of sodium hydroxide to obtain betaine of amino acid, which is methylated amino acid. Amino groups of amino acids are methylated, by the treatment with methyl iodide or dimethyl sulfate in alkaline environment. The final product is a betaine of amino acid. Carefully see the reaction to understand the mechanics of reaction. Now, I will explain fourth reaction, that is, reaction with Sanger's reagent. 1-fluoro-2-4-dinitrobenzene, abbreviated as FDNB, known as Sanger's reagent condenses with free amino group in cold under alkaline condition. The resulting product is dinitrophenyl amino acid, which is also known as DNP amino acid. DNP amino acid is bright yellow colored, and this reaction is also categorized as color reaction of amino acid. Amino group of N-terminal amino acid of peptide also produces DNP derivative and so it is routinely used for identification of N-terminal amino acid. Carefully see the reaction to understand the mechanics of reaction. Now, let me explain fifth reaction, that is, reaction with HNO2. Nitrous acid reacts with free amino group of amino acid to give corresponding hydroxyl acid, by liberation of nitrogen gas and water molecule. As each free amino group gives one molecule of nitrogen gas, so it can be useful in estimation of free amino groups in amino acids, peptides, or proteins. Thus on reaction with HNO2, amino acid gets converted to hydroxyl acid. 
carefully see the reaction to understand the mechanics of reaction. Now, the sixth reaction that I will explain is oxidative deamination. The reaction shows that, amino acid on oxidative deamination gets converted to keto acid via formation of amino acid by two-step reaction. Oxidative enzyme systems of tissues, especially liver and kidney, amino acids undergo oxidative deamination and forms keto acids and ammonia. Amino acid on oxidation gets converted to amino acid, which on reacting with water molecule gets converted to keto acid. Carefully see the reaction to understand the mechanics of reaction. Now, I will explain seventh reaction, that is, reaction with formaldehyde. Addition of formaldehyde to amino group occurs as the titration with alkali proceeds. Titration continues till two molecules of formaldehyde reacts to amino group of amino acid. Sorensen observed that if amino acid solution is neutralized to phenolphthalein and treated with excess of neutralized formaldehyde, the mixture becomes acidic and can be titrated sharply with phenolphthalein. Thus, positive charge on the amino group of amino acid, can be completely masked by making it react with formaldehyde, where amino acid gets converted to dimethylol amino acid which is acidic in nature and acts as a true acid and not like xvitarion. Now, I will explain eighth reaction, that is, reaction with aromatic aldehyde. Reaction with aromatic aldehyde in presence of alkali causes ship base formation. When aromatic aldehyde, such as benzaldehyde reacts with amino acid, condensation occurs, this condensed intermediate is unstable and it readily loses water molecule to form ship base. Molecule possessing C double bond N, is termed as ship base. Carefully see the portrayed reaction to understand the mechanics of ship base formation. Now, I will explain ninth reaction that is, reaction with ninhydrin. Ninhydrin when reacts with amino acid, forms hydrindon tin. Two molecules of hydrindon tin reacts with free ammonia to give a complex known as, dictohydrindolidine dictohydrindamine, which is purple colored. This compound is also known as Ruhamann's purple. This reaction is categorized as color reaction of amino acid as when ninhydrin reacts with amino acid forms colored end product. Carefully see the portrayed reaction to understand the mechanics of Ruhamann's purple formation. Now, I will explain the tenth reaction in this video that is reaction of amino group with carbon dioxide. Amino acid when reacts with carbon dioxide, the condensation reaction takes place and, N-carboxy amino acid is formed. This is very simple reaction to understand. Carefully see the reaction to understand the mechanics of carbon dioxide condensation with amino group of amino acid to get N-carboxy amino acid. Now, I will explain the 11th and the last reaction, that is Biorit reaction. In the image, a small peptide made of 4 amino acid is shown. Similarly, another similar peptide is shown. Peptide possess CONH linkages which is a covalent bond between two adjacent amino acids in peptide. This covalent bond occurring between carbon and nitrogen of CONH is called peptide bond. Here in Biorit reaction, copper ions reacts with unshared electron pair of nitrogen, and forms complex amongst two peptide chain with CONH2 groups, this complex is of purple color. Briefly, in Biorit reaction compound containing two CONH2 groups joined directly or through carbon or nitrogen reacts with copper sulfate to give violet color. As the final product of Biorit reaction is purple colored, this reaction is categorized as color reaction of amino acid. Which this, I complete my set of videos on reactions of amino acids. For more information on amino acid structure and properties, see my previous videos, which will provide you will all the information on amino acids. Links to these videos are provided in the description. Stay tuned to my channel. References used to prepare this video are given here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr. Dwaypayan Goswami.